Hello friends, so today we will be dealing with the Snellens chart and the visual equity so that you don't have any doubt solving the visual equity related questions. Last year there were three questions from this visual equity. So you should be all prepared with the visual equity and the Snellens chart itself. Okay. So this is a Snellens chart here and uh, as you know this is the most commonly used chart, normal visual equity. The normal visual equity of a person is 6 by 6. We can also say it is 20 by 20. This is in foot as we take in US and in India we take in meters. So this will be 6 by 6. Okay. Now what happens? What is the distance? The distance of the patient from the chart will be the 6 meters. So patient will stand at a distance of 6 meters from the chart and then he will start reading this chart. Okay. So if the person is reading this topmost line when he is standing at a distance of the 6 meters then we will say the visual equity is 6 by 60. Similarly this line will be 6 by 36. Then 6 by 24. Then 6 by 18. 6 by 12. Then we have 6 by 9 and finally 6 by 6. Now what is the meaning of this? The interpretation is very important. Now try to see, suppose I am saying that the visual equity is 6 by 60. Now what is the meaning of this numerator 6? Numerator 6 is the distance of the patient. It is the distance of the patient from the chart. So the patient is standing at a distance of 6 meters from the chart and what is this 60? 60 means distance from which distance from which normal person distance from which normal person can read this normal person can read this letter. So this means that the distance from which a normal person can read a particular letter will be different in all the lines means here for the 6 by 60 the normal person will read this from 60 meters while this person is reading from 6 meters. Similarly for this group the normal person will read it from 36 meters. This person is reading from 6 meters. For these letters, normal person will read from 24 meters. This person is reading from 6 meters. For this, normal person will read from 18 meters. Patient will read from 6 meters. For this, the person will read from 12 meters. Well, a patient will read from 6 meters. For 6 by 9, a normal person will read from 9 meters. Patient is reading from 6 meters. And finally, we have 6 by 6. Means what a normal person will read from 6 meters, this person is also reading from 6 meters only. And that is why we can say that his visual equity is actually normal. So in general, I can say the numerator 6 means it is a distance of the patient from the chart. While denominator means the distance from which a normal person can read this chart and that will be equal to its respective number. So for 6 by 60 it is 60 meters, for 6 by 36 it is 36 meters and it is so on. So if I say a person comes to you having a visual equity of 6 by 24, this question came in the DNB in DNB 2018 that a person comes to you having a visual equity of 6 by 24. So from how much distance a normal person will read this letter? This will be your 24 meters. So from 24 meters a normal person will read this line. All right. Now why can we say this? How did we know that the topmost letter is read from 60 meters, then this from 36 meters, this from 24, then from 18, then from 12, from 9 and from 6 meters. For this we have a concept that is called as minimum, minimum angle of resolution. Now what is this minimum angle of resolution? There is a minimum angle which is required by our eyes to resolve two points. Suppose this is a letter E. Now I can see this letter E only when I can recognize these two points. When I can recognize these two points of this letter as two separate points. 
this is called as two point discrimination or the nasal discrimination so if i am not seeing the two points separately i can't read this letter so when i am seeing these two letters separately these two points separately there should be some minimum angle between these two limbs only then i will be able to see this letter clearly so this minimum angle which is present between the two points in order to see this letter clearly is called as minimum angle of resolution for example suppose i take a example of the topmost letter suppose this is the topmost letter e something like this we have this limb then we have got the middle limb and then we have got the lower limb so this is the topmost letter e now person will be able to read this topmost letter only when he is able to see these two points separately for seeing these two line points separately there should be a minimum angle between these two points and this minimum angle is called as minimum angle of resolution and this minimum angle of resolution is actually 5 minutes of the arc this is the 5 minutes of the arc so if the angle is a smaller than this 5 minutes of the arc the person will not be able to read this letter clearly now this will be suspended this minimum angle of resolution is made by each letter it is made by each letter made by each letter at the respective distance at the respective distance each letter is forming this minimum angle at its respective distance now this is the most important thing means if it is a topmost letter suppose it is a topmost letter then it will make this angle at a distance of 60 meters next line will make at 36 meters next will make at 24 meters then at 18 meters then at 12 meters then at 9 meters and then at 6 meters each letter will make that respective angle that is 5 minutes of the arc at its respective distance and because the size of the letter is going on decreasing the topmost letter is the largest letter and then the size of the letter is going on decreasing therefore what is happening this distance is also decreasing at which it is making this angle so topmost letter is the largest letter therefore the angle is at maximum distance that is 60 meters the bottom most line is the 6 meters where the size of the letter is the smallest and therefore the distance at which this angle is subtended is also the smallest all right now sometimes you must have seen some were written as 1 minute also now what is this 1 minute actually 1 minute is formed by each limb so this limb is forming 1 minute then this also 1 minute this also 1 minute similarly this also 1 minute and this also 1 minute now 1 2 3 4 and 5 so 5 times 1 minute of the arc is formed 5 times so therefore we have got minimum angle of resolution that will be 5 minutes of the arc so don't get confused by 1 minute 1 minute is just for one limb you can't see all of the letter by this 1 minute i need whole of the 5 minutes of the arc in order to see this whole letter now how can we solve the questions related to it suppose they ask you what is the angle which is made by the topmost letter angle made by the topmost letter now when i say the topmost letter that means that this is 6 by 60 so this will make this 5 minutes of the arc this will make this 5 minutes of the arc at an distance of 60 meter So suppose they ask you that this topmost letter how much angle is formed at a distance of 6 meters now how to solve this question the secret of solving such question is first write what you know first write what you know what you know is that this will make an angle of 5 minutes of the arc 5 minutes of the arc is formed at a distance of 60 meters and now i want to calculate at the angle at 6 meters 
Now, if you see here, can you see as you go closer to the letter, as you go closer to the letter, the angle will go on increasing. The angle is going on increasing and increasing and as you go farther, the angle is decreasing. So, as we come closer and closer to the E, the size of the letter, the angle is increasing. So, this means when I come from 60 meters to 6 meters, the angle will open. See this. Now, see when, suppose this is the limb here. So, angle is very open near it and as we go farther and farther, the angle is decreasing. So, this means when I come from 60 meters to 6 meters, there will be increase in the angle. Now, how much increase? By the same factor by which you are decreasing the distance. We are changing the distance by a factor of 10. By a factor of 10. From 60 to 6 by a factor of 10. Therefore, angle will also increase by a factor of 10. That means 5 into 10. 5 into 10. So, answer will become 50 minutes. In this case, the answer will become 50 minutes of the arc. So, this is how you have to solve such questions. This question came last year in AIMS. Now, suppose they ask you a related question. They ask you how much angle is formed by the 6 by 36 line. That is next line at a distance of 6 meters. Again, how to solve such question? You have to write what you know. You know they form an angle of 5 minutes at the respective distance. That means at the 36 meters. Now, the distance is decreasing by a factor of 6. So, this angle will also increase by a factor of 6. So, answer will become now 30 minutes. So, for the next line, answer will become 30 minutes. Similarly, we can also solve for next line, 6 by 24. How much angle at a distance of 6 meters? So, what will happen here? Write what you know. It will form an angle of 5 minutes at a distance of 24 meters. Here, the distance is decreasing by a factor of 4. So, the angle will increase by a factor of 4, that means 20 minutes. So, this is how we have to solve the questions related to the Snellen's chart. Now, one more thing. Suppose the patient is not able to read even this 6 by 60 line. This was very important. Suppose the patient is not able to read even this 6 by 60 line when he is standing at a distance of 6 meters. How can you record the visual equity now? Now, previously I had kept this all the 6 constant because the patient was standing at a distance of 6 meters. Now, what can I do? I can keep this 60 constant and see from how much distance he is reading this 6 by 60 line. So, it can be 5 meters, it can be then 4 meters, it can be 3 meters, it can be 2 meters or even 1 by 60 that is 1 meter. So, after 6 by 60, if his vision is not even 6 by 60, we can record the visual equity as 5 by 60, 4 by 60, 3 by 60, 2 by 60 or 1 by 60. 1 by 60 means 1 meter. Now, can you go beyond this? No, because you have to take the distance in meters in cases of Snellen's chart. So, I can say that this is the minimum visual equity which is recorded by the Snellen's chart. Minimum visual equity which can be recordable by the Snellen's chart is actually 1 by 60. If the visual equity is not even 1 by 60, I cannot measure the visual equity by the Snellen's chart. Another important thing when the visual equity is less than 3 by 60, then it is called as blindness. So, this is the WHO definition as well as India's definition now also because earlier it was different for India, less than 6 by 60 and it was different for WHO that was less than 3 by 60, but now it is same for both. We have accepted the WHO definition on 24th April 2017. So, now less than 3 by 60 is actually blindness. So, what can you do beyond this? So, if the person is not even 1 by 60, then what we can do? We can do the finger counting. Finger counting start again at 1 meter. If the visual equity is even lesser than this, then finger counting near face. We can do finger counting near face. Then below this, we can have the hand movement. Try to uh, wave the hand and see if the hand movement can be perceived by the patient. If he is not even hand movement, then we go for PL. Now, what is this PL? 
PL means the perception of the light. If the patient is able to perceive the light, this is the perception of the light. Now there are two possibilities. Either the patient is PL negative or he is PL positive. Either he is able to appreciate this light or not. If he is PL negative, I can say that he is absolutely blind. Absolute blindness can be there in this patient while if he is PL positive. Now what we can do? If he is PL positive, go for PR. What is this PR? PR means projection of the rays. PR means the projection of the rays. Now, how can you see this projection of the rays? Divide this into four quadrant. We have superior quadrant, inferior quadrant, nasal quadrant, and temporal quadrant. And now I want to see in which quadrant the patient can perceive the light and in which quadrant he is not able to perceive the light. Suppose the patient is having glaucoma. Then what will you expect? If the patient is having glaucoma, first to go, first to go will be the superior and inferior quadrant. So they are negative. Then next to go is the nasal. So it can be plus minus while still present is the temporal quadrant. So this is the total way of taking the visual equity in a, in a patient from the 6 by 6 to 6 by 60 to 1 by 60 and finally to absolute blindness or PL and PR. But this Snellen's chart, Snellen's chart use the form sense. Another important thing is the form sense. That is, form sense forms the basis of the Snellen's chart. So if the person does not have the form sense, if the patient is illiterate, he cannot read the Snellen's chart. So what can have be done for the illiterates? If a person is illiterate, if the person is illiterate, then in that case, what we can do? For the illiterates, we can use e-chart. Either the e-chart or we can use the C chart. E chart or C chart can be used for such kind of patients in which we have got different kind of E and person will tell in which direction the mouth of the E is opening or in which direction the mouth of the C is opening. This is called as E chart and C chart. Then sometimes for the smaller children, if the children are smaller, then we can also use the simple picture chart. Simple picture chart is used for the small children to take the visual equity, especially between 2 to 5 years of age, between the 2 to 5 years of age, see some, something like this. So it is actually comparable to the normal Snellen's chart. We are using simple pictures, day-to-day -day things which the child can easily recognize and according to the Snellen's chart, we will decrease the size of these things. This is called a simple picture chart. And finally, if the there is an infant less than one year of age, then we will use ERG. We will use ERG to take the visual acuity. So this is the final way, total way of measuring the visual acuity in the different strata, literate, illiterate, as well as for the small children and the infants. So I hope this video helped you and you will be able to solve any question that came on the visual acuity. For any doubts, you can tag me on DBMCI. 2019 Premier Group, tag me, or uh, I am Dr. Neha Agarwal, okay, so you can tag me on DBMCI Premier Group, or you can also ask any problem on the ophthalmology group, Dr. Neha, ophthalmology discussion forum, keep on reading, work very hard, all the very best, and thank you.